guys, um, you might think I'm crazy because I know she's on my bed. And my room is so childish, but my sheets are washing. So today, um, it is National No Bra Day for Breast Cancer. And by the time I upload this, it will not be that day anymore, probably. But this is uh, um, Breast Cancer Month, I think. I'm not really sure. But I wanted to do a look based on it. And literally the only thing that I have close to pink is this coral dress. Literally wearing a dress right now. But that's literally the only thing I have pink. But in the video I'm wearing a blue shirt, so. But yeah, this is going to be my pink tutorial. I really, really love this look. Because I never really wear pinks. But, and now I do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Like, that would mean the world. And like for like a fall essentials video or like fall decor or fall treats. I was thinking of doing that. And look, I got a flu shot. <laughs> so I already have my brows on and my eyes are primed and concealed. I'm gonna go in with this scotch tape. I don't even know if it's scotch tape. change areas because oh my hair is wavy today. I? I took it out of a bun and it's still wet. So yeah I changed positions because it's better lighting down here and my selfie stick which I'm using as a tripod would not want to cooperate. I'm first going to be applying this one wild eyeshadow. It is a very pretty nude er, I'm just going to take what is on my finger because I sort of just cracked it and I'm just going to be applying it on my lid just as a bite. I'm going in with this color in my contour palette. I use it in literally every single video. But I'm going to go in with this brush. I'm just going to be taking this and putting in my crease as a transition shade. I'm going to be basing my look off of this palette more. It's a separate palette to my basic one, like I use in every tutorial. I have no idea where it's from though, but it has a lot more pinks, so I'm going to be basing it off of this. So the next thing I'm going to do is going to go in with a crease shade to sort of make my crease pink, but not really. If you go in with too much pink, if you ham on the pink, then your eyes are just going to look bloodshot. So don't, don't go with like hot pink in your crease, that's going to look crazy. But I'm going to go in with a more subtle pink. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade and just slightly put in my crease because I know if I go in with a darker pink, then it'll just end up looking weird. So if I'm just going with a subtle pink it'll slowly get to the intensity that I want. As you can see, I barely added pink, but it is sort of giving the feel of pink slowly. You do not want it to be just hot pink. Here's the scary part. You're going to be going in with a pink. Mine's more of a purpley pink, but I'm gonna go in with something like that. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and I'm going to be putting it right in that outer V. In real life, it looks way more pink. On camera, it looks way more purple. This is so weird. have a base for my um, transitions and stuff like that. I'm going to be going in with a like brown, semi-brown, semi, really light brown, like my transition shade. I might just take my transition shade again and go in my crease again with that shade because I don't want it to be way too purple because my lid's going to be super purple, so I mean pink. So I don't want my transition to be way too pink, so, or it, it'll just confuse you. So I'm just going to go in with the bronzer and putting that in my creases again.
Now I'm going to be taking <clears throat> a mixture of colors for my lid. My lid's gonna be super bright and pink. So I'm going to be taking this shade right here mixed with this shade from the Avon palette. And I'm also going to be using my setting spray from NYX. It's the dewy finish. And I'm going to be packing that all on my lid with a flat shader brush like this. And I'm going to be making it really, really intense because I want it really, really intense. It looks so weak on camera. In real life, it's so intense. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. liquid liner in the color charcoal. I never thought it had a color, I thought it was just black. But I'm going to be winging out my liner. Pretty dramatic, I love dramatic winged liner, that's going to be in every tutorial, so... Sorry bruh. I'll undo it off camera. I just did my right eye. I think it turned out pretty well, let's tear off the tape. I did some thick liner today, guys. So now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline The Falsies Mascara and apply millions and millions of coats. Because I love mascara. But I'm only doing it on the top because I have to do my lower lash line eyeshadow. my transition shade mixed with this color down here and a little bit of this color. I'm going to be putting that on my inner lash line right here and then I'm just going to be taking my transition out here with maybe a little bit of the pink. find my nude eyeliner. So I'm going to just use a black one. I'm just going to be applying it on my waterline. Now I'm going to be applying my moisturizer from Neutrogena with a big fluffy brush. You guys all know that I do this because I hate the feeling of moisturizer on my hands, so... Now I'm just going to be applying my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer all over my face for a clean base and to make sure all of my makeup stays on the whole day. I have a super clean and soft base. I'm going to be going in with my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer. Not that much because this is a super, super heavy concealer. 
I'm going to be putting it on my under eyes and on blemishes. in with my Fit Me can, um, foundation in ivory. This is going to be creating just one even skin tone and not making me look completely pale like this concealer tends to do because I go really ham on the highlight. And I'm going to be applying that with this buffing brush. I'm just going to be taking a little bit of it. I don't apply too much foundation. Now I'm going to be applying my contour. I lost my contour brush, you know, the black one. Um, I know it's somewhere in my room. I just have to find it. But for now, I'm just going to be ending using this one, which I use for my blush. But I have to use a different brush for my blush. <laughs> that rhymed. I'm just going to go in deeply with this shade and contour my cheekbones and contour my life away. Now I'm going to be applying my blush. I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite blush. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. This is um, an amazing blush. Um, I'm just going to be applying it with this loose fan brush because I don't have a brush for my blush. Uh, and now it's like dyed, that's so cute. Now I'm going to be mixing the highlight from this contour palette and from my Gwen Wild Fergie highlight in Beach Bronze and I'm just going to be applying that with this fan brush from Bare Minerals. Now I'm going to be going in with this um, like HD concealer brush, I don't know, it's just from Violet with my bronzer and I'm going to be um, contouring my nose because I have a huge nose. So now for the lips, I want a red plum pink because it is breast cancer awareness. I'm gonna go full out. Um, I'm not gonna do a nude or anything. I'm gonna go full out. So I'm gonna be taking this Ioactive Mega Slicks Balm Stain from Wet n Wild. It's a red plum, not really a plum, it's a red ish shade. So, I'm going to lightly tap this, because it's not completely pink, and then I'm going to be putting a pink lip gloss on. I know it's a balm stain and it'll dry like a stain, but there is a lot of excess, so. Now I'm going to be taking my concealer and making it the line much sharper, because my line right now is not on point. It's not on point right now. So. I've never rocked a pink lipstick, so this is so weird. enjoyed this video I had so much so much fun with this look and I did not make it too pink like in the crease but I did make it really pink on the lid and stuff so this is a very wearable pink you don't want it to be like stripper hot pink but I made it more of a wearable pink so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and bye guys